Welcome to, I believe this is part five um, of our Node.js Express Cassandra series. Um, up to this point, we have made it so that we are grabbing our subscribers from the database. We're uh, showing them on our index page and we click on one and it's going to take us to that subscriber's details, which is just their name, email and user ID. So now what I want to do is I want to create a page where we can actually add users. And this could be your public page that you give to your, uh, that you put on your website so that um, your users can actually fill out a form and subscribe to your newsletter or whatever it is. Um, so what we need to do is first, we're going to have to add our new routes. So open up your app.js and we're just going to put that here. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, so this will be add user. I'm sorry, not add user, add subscriber. Okay, and then down here, I'm sorry, where is it? Yeah, right here copy this okay so this will be add subscriber all right now what we want to do is create inside of our routes we want a new text document and call this add subscriber dot js and we can open that up and we also want to create the view file. You could just as well put the form on your index page, but um, that also has all your subscribers listed, so you really wouldn't want to use that as your public page. Uh, so we'll make a separate one. Sorry, this should be add subscriber dot jade and whoop okay what did I do for routes did I do add you oh all right so we'll open those both of those files up whoop okay and for the add subscriber js I'm just gonna copy the subscriber.js file. I'm just going to grab everything for now and put that in there. All right, and then we want to keep this stuff. We want to keep this. We'll change this right here to add subscriber. And I don't know if I changed it here as well. Subscriber. And then, let's see. So basically, we're going to have a get and a post request here because the get is for if someone just comes to the page, we want to be able to show them a form. Uh, the post is when the form is submitted. So for this get request, I'm just going to get rid of all this. Uh, this is just going to be a slash. And then what I'm going to do here is we're just going to render the form. So res.render. Add user. Okay, so that's it for the for the displaying of the form. All right, so we might as well create that. So we'll go to the Jade file. Okay, and we want to extend the layout, and we want block content, and we'll have an H1. Uh, we'll say subscribe. Subscribe now, I guess. And then we'll have a form, the form name will be add subscriber. Okay, we'll have a method. The method will be post. And we also want an action. And let's see, the action. action will be slash add subscriber all right 
Then for the fields, I'm going to do an indent and then have a div and then another indent. We'll have input and actually let's give the ID input um, email. Actually, this at this should be a number sign. Input email. Okay, and we want type is going to be text. And we'll give it a placeholder. Add email. And we also want a name. Okay, so for the name, we're just going to put email. And we'll do another div. Give it an ID of input first name type again will be text placeholder add first name and then we also need a name attribute and that's going to be equal to first name. Okay, another div. I'm just going to copy this. Okay, and this is going to be last name. Okay, and then we need a submit button. And we'll put that in a div as well. So button, and we'll give it an ID of btn submit. That's going to have a type of submit. And then the text will also say submit. Actually, let's make it say subscribe. OK, so we'll save that and restart the server. Whoops. All right, and then we'll go ahead and go to slash add user. I'm sorry, add subscriber. Okay, so I must have put add user somewhere. I keep getting this mixed up. Uh, where did I put it? Add subscriber. Yeah, okay, so right here. Okay, so actually, I should put a link on this page. Um, let me go to my. I want to go to the index Jade file. And where should I put this? I guess I'll put it at the bottom. So basically, I'll have an, a link. And it's going to go to slash add subscriber yeah and then the text all right so let's see if that gives us a link add subscriber click that unexpected character what did I do wrong here Whoops, this ain't the right. We need to add subscriber.jade. Oh, so it looks like the, I think the exclamation mark kind of threw everything off. So let me get rid of that. Nope. Oh, okay. I think it was, it's this, this um, quote right here. That shouldn't be there. Put it here too. You probably saw that a while ago. <laughs> All right, let's try that. All right, so here we have our form. 
subscribe now. So this is probably what you'd have in your public front end for your users. Uh, right now it's not going to do anything because we haven't created that code yet. So we want to go back to the add subscriber JavaScript file. And we're going to create the query first. So uh, we don't want this. I, I forgot to get rid of this. We want to go under this, the get request. Okay, I'm going to create a variable. And I'm going to call this upsert subscriber. Now, the reason I'm saying upsert is because when you're using Cassandra and you try to insert a row and it has the same key, the same press, so in our case, the same ID, then it's going to update it. Uh, usually, in a lot of times, SQL, um, if you're using a relational database, that it'll fail. The query will fail if you write an insert and it's already there. Um, so that's what's what's cool about this is that it'll just update it. So we can use it for insert and update. All right, and what we're going to do here is say insert insert into people dot oops people dot subscribers. And we're gonna go with the ID. Uh, ID, what else? Email, first name, and last name. All right, and then the values are going to be question marks. Now, when we did when we when we did an insert inside of the CQL shell, we used a function to, to generate the ID called now. Well, we can't use that um, just using this core driver. So we need to use something else to generate. So I'll be using that inside of our post function. Okay. So now that we have that query, um, we want to create a router post. All right. So. Let's just do a little comment here. We'll say add subscriber. So we'll say post. Okay, so we want to say router dot post. Okay, slash, and then we want the function. Okay, this function is going to take a request and response, just like the get functions. Say client dot execute, and then we want to put in the upsert subscriber. All right, and we're going to pass a bunch of things with this to post. Okay, so we can do that using req dot body, and then the the parameter, which uh, first one will be ID. All right, and then we'll have um, req dot body dot email. First name. Last name. All right, and then after that, we want a comma and we want our function. Okay, function is gonna take error and result. Okay, and I'm just gonna copy from one of the other JavaScript files this if error. Okay, so if there's an error, we'll send the message. If not, then um, all we need to do, we don't need to render anything. Uh, what we want to do is, I'm just going to log to the console. So we'll say console log subscriber added. And then we'll just redirect. So we can say res.redirect. 
and we want to be redirected to index. All right, so that should do it. We'll save that and then go ahead and restart the server. All right, and then reload, add subscriber. Let's say user four at gmail.com, first name, um, Henry, last name, white, subscribe. All right, so we're getting an error, invalid null value for part, key part ID. Um, oh, you know what? I'm sorry, we shouldn't, we shouldn't even have the ID here. We're not inserting an ID. We need to generate it. So, um, no, actually, you know what? We do have to keep that, the ID but it needs to be generated. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna cut out this whole line, all right, and then I'm gonna put it inside of our post here. I'm gonna put it above the, the, the execution method. So I'll put it here, all right. Now, above that, I need to um, generate an ID, so ID, is going to be equal to Cassandra um, dot types dot UUID. Okay, I think that's it. And that is going to generate um, a UUID for us. Put it in here in ID. And then we need to put that here. So we're not going to have this request body because that's for form information. That's what's coming in from the form. We only want to have ID here. All right, so hopefully that works. Let's save it and restart the server. Okay, we'll add a subscriber. So user, uh, what do they put for a name? Um, I forget, we'll say Nathan. Uh, I don't know, Connor. Okay, so it looks like uh, it redirected us to index. I think it might have worked, but it's just not redirecting us correctly. Yeah, all right, so it did work. User 4, Nathan Connor. So we just need to fix that redirect. Uh, we should be able to just do a slash. Okay, so we'll restart. Try one more time, and that should work. So add subscriber, uh, we'll do user6 at gmail, and we'll do uh, Sam, Sam Smith. There we go. So now you can see user6 is there. Click on him, Sam Smith. So that's how you can add a resource through Node.js and Cassandra. In the next video, I'll show you how to update the subscriber. Basically, we'll have a link to update. Uh, and then after that, either in that video or the next, I'll show you how to delete a subscriber.